Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Major Dad and I are continuing the Acolyte. This is season one, episode six, titled Teach slash Corrupt. So another double title. And yay, we are in the same room this time around, which that that's always nice when we're able to do that. I had the chance to drive by and visit Sunny so mm -hmm. and it we can watch it at the same time. So it's perfect. It is, it is like it, it works fairly well with like the, the usual way that we do it um, but but again it's it's always better when we're in the same room and and watching the same screen and everything yeah he, he has to say that when I'm here so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> and I mean it but all right the previous episode night that was a big one it was the episode that turned all the naysayers no we didn't really if if You've already decided That's that you hate, hate the series, then, yeah. then, then, then nothing's going to change your mind. Um, but some people who were more on the fence, maybe, they, they got uh, a little bit more out of that previous episode. We've, we got a lot of uh, cool action and some revelations. And yeah, I've, I've, I haven't been able to stop thinking about the episode, at least since, uh, since we watched it. And very, very, very curious to see where the story goes from here. You can go in a number of directions. We've theorized a lot and we're most likely wrong about most of it. So we're not even going to say it out loud. We're just going to watch the thing. So is there anything you want to say before we start? No, not, uh, well, thank you for all the comments. There's a lot of comments on, on the last one and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of theorizing as well and on why and who and where. And it, it just, oh, yeah, yeah. that just bugs me even more. So yeah, I, I really theorize in all directions with your help. Thank you so much. And mm -hmm. we're probably all wrong, but it's it's nice to sort of uh, think about think about Star Wars, uh, think about what could happen, where we're going. I mm -hmm. still enjoyed it, despite whatever people are saying about it. It's still Star Wars and... I can't help thinking about Marcus Aurelius, a uh, uh, philosopher, and also Roman Empire, who said that if something like if if you're in pain from something that doesn't really hurt you, but it just hurts your opinion, it's within your grasp to sort of just remove the pain. <laughs> think yeah. about that. So you yeah. control that yourself. Yeah, like it's not hurting you. It's just in this case, it's just entertainment. It is. That's that. That's all it is. No matter how much we love it and how much time we spent on it, it is still at the end of the day just entertainment. And it yeah, won't hurt and, you. And I enjoy it. And thank you for watching. And mm -hmm. if you can like, subscribe, join on Patreon, uh, look at the Merc Store. Uh, please help out the channel. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's a low on cash at the moment. I have my government job, so I get my government pay. Sunny, not so much. So no. uh, please help out. <laughs> thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and share the channel with yes, other people. Exactly. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, also YouTube memberships. Links down in the description below and most likely also in a pinned comment. And yeah, sure, there's there's more we could get into just like what, while you were talking and about the comments and like as, as many of you said as, as, as an example, no, the stranger or Chimia didn't straight up say that he is a Sith. He said, that's what you would call me, what the Jedi would call me. So that whole thing is still very much up to debate and I I've, I've how, seen several yeah. people theorizing about that as well. Yeah, me too. And I wonder how they're going to spin it. And I think mm. there's going to be a political spin on it. Uh, I don't know about uh, this next one with uh, cheats and corrupt, where that's going. That could be uh, something uh, about the political side of it. Yeah, and yeah. We also need a flashback as well to sort of see what really happened with Saul and so on. So yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to see where Friend this dog. one takes me. Mm -hmm. Same, same. So, okay. Enough talking. Let's do this. The Acolyte, Season 1, Episode 6. Here we go. No! That was so sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not over that. That's probably what I've been thinking about the most, is just poor Jackie and your word. You must pay for your crimes. Now, that's something that really pissed people off, was uh, that. The yeah. lightsaber haircut, even though we have seen that before. <laughs> like, it's not new. In the Jedi Knight games, Kal Katan, he's shaved with the freaking lightsaber if you just let him stand yeah. around. <laughs> it's also like if you talk about um, influences, it's a very samurai thing to do with the sword. Cutting I'm still so amazed at any kind of movie when someone cut their hair on their own. It is way better than 
what it should be yeah. <laughs> yeah. in real life so when you talk about unrealistic then yeah where is she at in a cave they got a stew going Just like her, I like to make sure it's vodka before I drink. Or... Well, are we on a different planet now? Is it... Octu? Like where Luke was hiding? In the sequel trilogy? It looks very much like yeah, it. it does. Even her outfit was kind of ray-ish, you know, with like the shoulders. Unknown planet. But they're not telling us. If we see porks, it's confirmed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's something else. That Those aren't porks. Those are snorks. <laughs> <laughs> snorks, yeah. Great name for them. Not porks, snorks. He knows that it's it's Osha yeah. and not May, right? He does, yeah. He must because of like the tattoo and the yeah, lack exactly. and the lack of tattoo on, on the forehead. Yeah, exactly. And they're off. Wow. Oh. Emergency code zero. My whole team is dead. Comes and lost. I don't think it's going through. I must speak to Master Vanestra. All right, Basil, he knows what's up. Yeah, he can smell it. There is a much larger threat than we anticipated. Really? That's your whole plan? Take the wheel. And he must also know. He should. He, he, he really should. Yeah. yeah. Or something. I know he's he's very flustered. But, Focused yeah. on a lot of other things. Yeah, yeah. But the actor, I think it's Lee Jung Jae, but yeah. he's doing a really good job. Yeah, he is in the series so far. <laughs> Always the right way to fix electronics. <laughs> Violence. Still can't believe we lost almost all of the Jedi, except one. But this guy is still alive. Well, are we gonna go for a swim or? Looks like it. Yeah. Oh. Here we see some some sort of a mirror situation here with the two sisters. Yeah, but she's seen them fight, so she can't really expect to sort of surprise him. I think he considers her much of a threat at the moment. Don't move. Feels good, doesn't it? Stay where you are. You're not gonna join me. I'd like to put my clothes back on. Fair. Why not kill me? Am I supposed to be your prisoner? Prisoner? You're the one with the weapon. Well, fair point. Interesting you ask about him first, though. He taught you the Jedi arts, but he's more to you than that. A special relationship, isn't it? Well, she did say earlier she sees the Jedi as like a family, a yeah. chosen family. You saved us, Sosha. He corrupted your sister. He pushed me to a place I... I'm sorry. You really don't? It's no. time to make things right. It's time for me to face the High Council. To tell them everything. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell us yeah, while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> Clear for transmission. Clear for trans... or not. You want to take a look? Give me a couple minutes. Senator Ray in court continues to gain support. Mm. Probably not. Take Serbia as a sister. 
No, probably not. Jedi are always transparent with the Senate. This is a case of an ambitious senator grasping for power. Apologies, Senator. I must go. There were casualties. Who? The connection was faulty, but, but it sounded like the entire team. Get him back on the comms. I, unfortunately, we've lost contact. Prepare a rescue team to depart for the planet Kofar immediately. Oh. Okay, so sh is she going there personally? You speak as if you were a Jedi. Well, they kind of finished at Kofar, didn't they? Yeah, right them. now, they're yeah. just like hovering above like an yeah. atmosphere. And they clearly aren't there anymore. <laughs> I'd start swimming if you want to make it to the ship before sundown. Or you could wait for the tide to go out. You hungry? It's very nonchalant about it. Yeah. It's definitely uh, like some sort of tactic to get her to lower her guard. Ha ha! You confronting her alone? Dude. Hey! <laughs> In the eye. What if I reset you to factory settings? Hmm? You can do that. Apparently. Ah. Uh -huh. And then went red. The we got a, a bad pip. <laughs> yeah. Dark side pip. His ship it looks can get a good look at it, but it, it sort of looks like a um, mall ship. Yeah. The Shimita, I think it's called. The Jedi teach there's only one way to access the Force. And if you don't do it their way, it fades. Below the surface of consciousness are powerful emotions. Anger, fear, loss. That's the path to the dark side. All the dark triggers. <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> You murdered my friends. I killed Jedi. I killed those who threatened my existence. You killed Yord. You killed Jackie. You would have had the same relationship with her that you have with your master. One-sided. Why do you love people who can only go so far? He really does hate the Jedi, huh? Yeah. What you're feeling right now, this anger, this pain, the Jedi saw it, and that's why they threw you away. They didn't throw me away. Then why aren't you a Jedi? Why aren't you a Jedi, Osha? Because I failed! Good. <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. I lost everything, Osha. But when you lose everything, that's when you're finally free. Mm. Debatable. Yeah. He's saying things both in this one and the last one that sort of, sort of sounds reasonable, but yeah. like if you really think about it and look at it, especially from like the Sith perspective, if that is what it what he is, oh. then nah. You get nauseous when you travel through hyperspace. Mm -hmm. I don't get sick. I find it unsettling. But master, I'm sure that these casualties are due to the planet's uncharted environment. You don't I need to handle this personally. Again, don't know her character from the books, but it seems like there's something yeah. going on underneath and it's like might be politically charged. And um, yeah, there's a reason why she she wants to do this personally and why she doesn't want to tell the High Council. Yeah. How could I not have sensed that villain's true intentions when we first met him on Olega? When you really want something, it can cloud your mind. You see what you want to see. Just as right now? Yeah. Your pip droid. He's okay now. I noticed the way you take care of him. Love him. Even though he's just a machine. <laughs> I do? <laughs> Have you told me everything that happened on Brentok? No. You were very young. But I'm not now. You can tell me. Yeah, come on. Close, but no. Mm. Identify yourself. My name is. Okay, well. Either he already knew or he figured out, or he told. That's told, yeah. The rescue team is on their way. 
Leave your transponder on. Huh? What? What's the plan, Sol? Leaving. Yep. Wow. The timing. <laughs> Perfect. Seems an Umbramoth colony hatched last night and wreaked havoc on the local settlement. If the Jedi had been anywhere near that colony, that could explain a large amount of casualties. It could. It could, but that's not it. Funny they're not worried about Sol not being there or Transponder been shut off or all that stuff. Or they're just gonna scan the planet. Yeah, investigate. Yeah. Made a mistake with me. Thought she wanted what I want. What do you want? Freedom. The power of two. Oh. Ah. Again, that's a very Sith that. thing to say. Looks like someone stabbed you in the back. Someone who threw me away. Your Jedi Master? Mm. I have a theory, but I'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> Cortosis. Handy against lightsabers. I know, you said it. Cortosis. It blocks out all your senses. So it's just you and the Force. And what you bring with you. Try it on. I don't trust you. Nor should you. But you should learn to trust yourself. Again, not bad advice, but coming from him. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Just a reminder. But okay, they, they found all the bodies. Come on, you do you have to show us again? No sign of Osha. She can sense what happened. Yeah. What do you see? One versus many. His power extraordinary, his skills erratic. His sole aim was to leave no survivors. Oh, oh, we're gonna see her whip out her. Nice. Freaking lightsaber whip. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. I don't think Master Soul was responsible. That is quite the accusation. Who else would possess the power to slay such a strong group? Hmm. What? Something to tip the scales. What is she thinking? We should prepare these bodies for burial. There's a lot she's not saying out loud. Yeah, yeah. Something to tip the scales. Mm -hmm. But nice touch with the Jedi lightsaber whip. whip. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing I knew about her, is that she has a, quite the unique weapon. You have a lot to do. You need to find your master. We need to save Osha. But first, you and I are going to talk. Mm -hmm. I've had 16 years. Think about what I would say to you if I ever got the opportunity. So you're going to listen. Well, not much else to do when you're tied down. <laughs> She's gonna try it on and blocks everything else out and gonna help her yeah. listen to herself. Like a kratosis vein. Kind of crude design, but something about it. Yeah. What? Really? Ah, really? Well, that lines up with what people have been saying that it's the seventh episode. That's going to be the flashback episode and we're yeah. going to get a lot more information there that that's going to then this was a yeah. build up it 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 was it yeah. was it it surely was like a coming down off of what happened in the in the previous episode uh, but but also very much building to what we're then going to get in the next one and and also the finale um but but yeah still still enjoyed it like yeah. there, there's a lot going on under the surface Especially when it comes to, I, I would say, like the Jedi, Vanestra. Like, I'm, I'm so curious about, like, what is she thinking? Something, and, like, yeah. what is she referring yeah. to when it when she says, because it's the second time she said it, 
something to tip the scales. Yeah. And she does seem very worried about political ramifications, about like talking to the high council, telling them too much of what's going on. Yeah. And she even seemed sort of like dismissive to the other Jedi that she was with on Kofar and going around and like she was like just saying, What do you see? Yeah. yeah. She didn't really offer anything herself. No. no, no, she didn't share like well, what what she was seeing, what she was thinking about. So she's just like keeping her cards very close yeah. to her chest is 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 what I'm getting from her character. And again, I don't know if that is very much in line with who she is in the books. Like this is a very much an older version of of her compared to the one in the books that are taking place many many years before this yeah. so she might have changed or something happened but but i i kind of sort of don't trust her no there's something about her mm. that she definitely matured and there's a lot of things going on in her mind and mm. she's weighing something up against the political situation the jedi and probably she knows more about the story about Saul than most others, maybe. I don't know. There's so many things go, going on, so I need to know some more about what really happened. I um, need the flashbacks. So, yes, yes, yeah. we need that next episode, yeah. the, the flashback yeah. episode to, to, to Brendock, what really went down. And Saul seems like, yeah, he's about to tell May, and yeah. she's in a position where he, she can only listen. And then we have Osha who put on the Kotosis helmet to sort of talk to herself yeah. through the Force. Or you, you, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, yes, yeah, isolate might, her thoughts. Might, that might be the combination of the soul uh, talking to May about it and Osha remembering things that now she's completely sealed off within the helmet. She's mm. just herself and her thoughts. So that might reveal something for her as well. Mm. She had one picture of what happened, but she was very young. So that might be not the whole truth that she's seeing. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's sort of, this was a great build up to the next episode where we will get the, the, the whole story about what's going on mm -hmm. and the ramifications of it for the Jedi and the others. I don't know where it's going. We, no. we need to discuss that for a, for a bit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice with all your theories and, and the, uh, in the comments and definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you are like those of you saying that, because like I, I I was saying in in the moment when we were watching the previous episode that oh yeah, it makes sense if if all the Jedi here die because the rest of them can't know about the existence of of the stranger of Chimere, of there being maybe a Sith around, um, but some of them obviously could like if someone like Vanestra finds out and chooses for some reason or another that we're probably going to find out to hide it yeah. from everyone else. And maybe even the high council, or maybe the only ones who are really told about it is like the grandmasters. It's, it's Yoda, for example, like that, that's also something people were pointing out that Yoda and Mace at the end of the Phantom Menace, they were talking about the rule of two, which is also kind of something that Chimere mentioned in this yeah. one. The power of two, if you yeah, well correlated to yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but how would they know about that if they aren't somewhat familiar with like what the Sith became after the the rule of two were yeah. were, were created and everything with Darth Bane? Like so some of that stuff is is canon and and some of it is is also still legends, yeah. which was and I know I know as well. Someone co has corrected me. In, on that, I don't know if it was the last one or a previous video, that yes, legends were never strictly speaking canon, at least not if, if you ask, if you ask Joss Lucas or Lucasfilm yeah. back then. Um, but in the eyes of, of a lot of people who were very much invested in the le in, in legends or in EU, that stuff was canon for yeah. for them. Um, but now it's more of a like they can pick and choose some things that they can fit into. Yeah, and I think Dave of... Filoni is quite good at sort of weaving things in bit between each other, so it kind of works out in the end for me as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it it's fine with with this sort of mystery that's going on here. Yeah, uh, where yeah. some things don't seem to add up, yeah. and there's like okay, so for information for some things to make sense further down the line, uh, certain 
events has to happen or some people can't know uh, some information but but they're also like um you can tweak it and, and like it, we know that there's oversight from someone like Filoni and others uh, with with everything Star Wars so that it, it like it has to fit together so I, I i never really subscribe to the idea that these people they might break canon because they don't know what they're doing or they aren't paying attention to certain things like i i very much think that they are and even if the things that they might miss or not think yeah. about then someone else in lucasfilm someone like dave filoni is going to remind them so i i am not expecting for them to break anything but no. but only like further it in a way where oh that was that 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 has been going on like it, it still fits into what we know but it just adds more layers to it and, yeah. and that is one of the things at that the I same time if you here. go through history and look at all the history books and so on even over time some of the story has been told and retold and told again and then written down so mm. it's okay for the odd thing sticking out here and there because it it's part of the lore which is what people have been telling each other uh, maybe writing down what they thought they heard and so on so mm. I, I I can allow for uh, I mm. mean it's okay uh, the overall arc kind of fits in my mind as well as it is uh, right now with the Jedi they're almighty on some places they're trying to get their their feet in other places and the Sith will be around even though they say that haven't been around for quite a while there's always some bad guys out there so <laughs> yeah so, so kind of yeah it, it's okay with me and and i i enjoyed this kind of it was a slow build up on, on a lot mm. of things and uh, uh we got to see some more of of, of Kymir, that he's a very relaxed guy and and his approach to things are of course from the dark side point of pain, view yeah yes. pain fear and, and all that stuff that sort of lets you focus inwards yeah uh, on yourself uh so but it's just like yeah. the, the, the way that he's think he's saying things and thinking yeah. about things where you are tempted to be like oh that sort of makes sense yeah uh, but but again like if, if you really think about it and, and where he is coming from um just like a like a, a big thing that he said in the previous one was the whole thing about like the the jedi are, are like the one who are not allowing someone like me to live. Like, I just want the freedom to be who I am and to have a pupil, an acolyte. And it's like, yeah, that, that sounds all good on the yeah. surface, but when the freedom you want, like what you want to do with that freedom is being a Sith and like <laughs> tormenting people and, and hurting killing others, them, yeah. hurting others, yeah. Yeah. then that that is not a... a, 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 a that's not I'm, a freedom I'm, I I will allow you. <laughs> like, I'm not, well, I'm not I'm not sure. It really, says they want to sort of necessary uh, use other people or kill other people or being that bad. But the whole idea of where you where you get your strength from, the the Sith will get the strength from the dark side, pain, mm. fear, uh, yeah, all, yeah. all the bad things. Uh, if you sort of root for bad things to go on, it's where you get your energy and. Mm. Uh, the Jedi is like, well, look at the good things, all the happy things, and and so on, and and I I kind of like that distinction between Sith and Jedi, and and mm. from my point of view, you should always get your strength from doing good and being good around people and seeing good things and thinking yeah, good yeah. thoughts. But I can also get some strength from meeting, uh, well, an employee or a boss somewhere that pisses me off. I mean. That focused me a lot sometimes. Sure, so, sure. So just like we all got it inside ourselves. Just look at yeah. it like we've been talking about it so much, but just like the, the discourse around this series and like certain people making videos about the series that are very much um, on the hate side of things and they're focusing very much on that and, and they get passion from it when they, they talk about it and, and other people seemingly like to listen to 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 that um so so yeah there is like a, a some a, a luring quality in it um but if you like look at the philosophies of like the jedi and the sith and the, like the good versus the bad then yeah i'm like you i, I fall on the side of i, I want to focus on the yeah, good things but, the, but don't, the positives but don't rule out but there's a lot of power in the no, other no, side no 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 well. exactly and, and, and you can see it and it's also in all kinds of religions and so on so so the overall term of star wars with the good and the bad and so on yeah, yeah, yeah. it it works for me in in this uh, episode and this series as well it, it does it yeah. does yeah um and I, I mentioned that i had sort of theory and i'm sure many others have been thinking the same thing 
watching this episode in particular and and just knowing what is presumably canon still with what Sith are around at the moment. I'm thinking that Chimir, he was cast aside or betrayed by the true Sith. So, someone, yeah. Yeah, um, where I, I think he's called Darth T Teneboros or something, who was the master of Darth Plagueis, who then, of course, is the master of Palpatine, but this is before Palpatine's time, I would say, or Sidious. And what if, like, Darth T Teneboros, Teneboros, I can never pronounce the name, um, his apprentice if Plague is Plagueis, and Plagueis took another apprentice, or maybe Teneboros, or like he took another secret apprentice, or, or something. Because you know, like even though there's the rule of two, the Sith like they always backstab each other, and there aren't a lot of the times that there are <laughs> there are more than two. Um, there are more than just like someone to have the power and someone to crave yeah. it, and then. For the one to crave, like the one who craves it, the apprentice, for them to take over, they usually also get an apprentice of their own, like yeah. a Dooku with a Ventress or, um, yeah, something like that. So what if something went wrong there and or something happened where Plagueis was forced to rid himself of this apprentice that he has he had chosen because his master found out or like, so I'm, I'm just... Theorizing that it is linked to yeah. somehow, yeah. Yeah, to yeah, Sith, yeah, instead of and and I I hope we are going to get into that to sort of link it up because like we know that is one thing that 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 we know and we know it's canon is that Plagueis was the master of of Sidious of Palpatine could be alive at at, at this point in time perhaps yeah. maybe and if if they keep it so that he's not a, a human, he's a, a mune, and he can, you know, be all older. Yeah. yeah. Like, the same rules don't apply. So, just thinking out loud. Yeah. We can speculate a lot. Some mm. of it we do on screen, and... A lot of it we do. Yeah, a lot of it screen. we do. Yeah, <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. Uh, I just remember one more thing uh, about what we talked about before, and one of these uh, quotes, but this time I found the quote correctly from uh, Marcus Aurelius as well. Yeah. The happiness... Of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Yeah, so that that too. Yeah, definitely yeah. could both apply to what we've talked about with like inside yeah. of the Star Wars, like in, in the story that we're watching, but but also with with this discourse <laughs> surrounding yeah. it for sure, for yeah. sure. Um, in a way, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed mm. these episodes. I enjoyed doing them with you and mm. uh, talking about it. And I do enjoy all the comments and your theorizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Helping us seeing the things that we didn't discuss on screen we missed out on we might catch them when we rewatch it without all the lights in the face but uh it still helps me get the full picture of all oh of it. yeah so yeah thank you so much definitely like even though I, I would say that i am i'm pretty knowledgeable about star wars and i do remember a lot of things um there are certainly also a lot of stuff that i that i miss um and and for like for that I'm, I'm grateful that there are so many of you in the comments who are very good at pointing certain things out or making us look at things from another perspective a new perspectives and like in in general the majority of the comments that we are getting i think are, are really really good and a lot of them very positive and then of course there's some negativity mixed in there and there are people who are just clicking on these videos to download them and tell us how much the show sucks in, in the comments but you're still uh, okay. <laughs> you're inadvertently inadvertently you're still helping the video by watching it and, and commenting so, so, yeah. so don't so, stop no, but just so, like <laughs> thank you and and it, it, i don't mind you uh dissing the, the the show or saying that it's bad no no it's, it's it's your but, opinion it's but fine. also add why you think it's bad it kind of helps me to sort of get another angle to it so yeah, a good yeah. discussion a good argument is well, we are not seeing eye to eye on things, and we try to sort of tell each other from our angle how it looks. So it, it's that's, it, it's a sound thing. So it's that, okay. That's how it should be when when you are discussing things yeah. like this and discussing entertainment, in in, in particular, which is like one hundred percent subjective. There's no right or wrong opinions on anything from this to godfather to the transformers movies or whatever it is if you like it if you don't like it it's like it's it's your opinion nothing is wrong um but it is like when we are discussing it 
and 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 you want to, you know, get into why you like certain things or why you don't like certain things, um, then yeah, it would make yeah. sense to like. It's okay to, to disagree. Yeah, it's it's okay to disagree. Um, but but sometimes the discourse can just devolve into I don't like this because it is it's just it's bad writing or it's woke or like where it's like it, it, that doesn't tell me anything like that doesn't tell me anything about like why you you, you think so it's just like buzzwords yeah. um and, and there can be a lot of that but thankfully there are also a lot of people who are in, engaging with like the, the discourse and, and talking about what they like and what they don't like in a sensible way yeah. not just it's throwing nice. buzzwords out there um there are a lot of that but there's also a lot of people who are actually talking about it and people plenty of people who has valid criticisms that i can definitely i can i can see that yeah. it just doesn't maybe bother me as much no. uh, as, as other people and and, and then, i yeah. normally end the discussion would i could agree with you but then we'll both be wrong <laughs> but yeah it's fine <laughs> All right, but um, I think that's going to do it then for this one. Now we have two episodes left. I'm really, really looking forward to to the next because give us give us some more information. Yeah. Let, I, I, I want to know what really happened. And then going into the, 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 summer, yeah. the finale, I yeah. want to know how they're going to round this off and, and how it's going to connect to other things. And um, yeah, very excited. Very. Yes. All right. Then all that's left to say is just thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you as soon as possible. May the force be with you. Always.